Emily Thornberry has defended a widely criticized Labour Party ad which claims Rishi Sunak doesn't think child sex abusers should go to prison. The ad, first published on Thursday, depicts a grinning picture of the Prime Minister alongside the caption, Do you think adults convicted of sexually assaulting children should go to prison? Rishi Sunak doesn't. But the shadow attorney general has said critics were wrong for saying the ad is racist. Miss Thornberry told BBC Radio, Fors any questions, I heard a lot of people criticizing it, and a lot of people who I like and respect criticizing it and saying they felt very uncomfortable about it. Some people said that they thought it was racist, I have to say, I think they're wrong. I just disagree with that. I think the truth is we do need to have a debate in this country, and Rishi Sunak is the prime minister and he is responsible for a broken justice system. Asked if she genuinely thinks Mr. Sunak held these views, Ms. Thornberry responded, if he believes that everyone responsible for child abuse should get a custodial sentence, why are so many not getting a custodial sentence? He is the prime minister and that is a legitimate question for the opposition to ask. Former Shadow Chancellor John McDonnell urged the party to climb down on the issue and said, This is not the sort of politics a Labour Party, confident of its own values and preparing to govern, should be engaged in. I say to the people who have taken the decision to publish this ad, please withdraw it. We, the Labour Party, are better than this. Tory MP Laura Trott blasted the desperate stunt and questioned Keir Starmer's integrity, calling him a political opportunist who's just not fit to lead the country. Liberal Democrat MP Munira Wilson is pretty disgusted by the campaign and said, This is not an attack ad my party would use. The ad centers on Labour pitching itself as the party of law and order which claims under the Tories 4,500 adults convicted of sexually assaulting children under 16 served no prison time. However, it was later revealed that Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer had previously sat in on a meeting of the Sentencing Council, in which a range of sentencing options for child sexual offenders were discussed. Minutes for the council's meetings show the issue was initially raised in May 2012 when Starmer was director of public prosecutions at the Crown Prosecution Service, and nearly three years before Sunak became an MP despite the barrage of criticism Labour has not taken down the ad and instead posted another message claiming Mr. Sunak of not wanting to jail dangerous gunmen. This claim is untrue because judges and magistrates, rather than the prime minister of the day, are responsible for handing out sentences. The figures highlighted by Labour also cover the period since 2010, five years before Mr. Sunak entered Parliament. He did not become Prime Minister until October last year. So it's not an absolute rule. I think that, you know, I think that being involved in podcasts or writing articles or books, engaging the public in political debate is fine. You know, that's all kind of part of being an MP, it seems to me. And indeed, we have some people who are, particularly those who come from public service jobs, who continue to do those jobs sometimes in order to keep their hand in and to keep their connection with those communities that they have come from and they represent. But this idea of going off and making secret deals with international companies before you even know the nature